Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we are going to be talking about the circle. Oh, come on, can't I talk about something better? Release a better movie already. Or better yet, just stop making bad movies. Well, there goes my thoughts. <laughs> um, the circle is basically, uh, we're in a future that to me might actually happen in a couple of years from now, who knows. But it basically focuses on Emma Watson's character, and she is basically wanting to get a job from The Circle, because it's a company that's really big, and uh, she just wants to be a part of it. And she'll get a better job there, and she eventually gets the job, you saw it in the trailer, blah 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 blah, and stuff happens, and... Me, Tom Hanks' character, he's in the movie for about five scenes, and John Boyega's character, he has about three scenes of screen time, maybe four. And, uh, without giving too much away, that's basically what The Circle is about. So, what did I like about this movie? Let's get the positives out, the positives out of the way first. And that is... There's a good message. It's basically uh, technology is taking over, and then we. Blah, blah, blah. There's it's a little uh, difficult for myself to describe. It's better if you just see the movie, then you know what it's trying to say. If you've seen the trailers, then I think you can piece together what it is. It's basically if you stay too much with technology, and it's kind of like taking over and privacy is being destroyed and should we remove privacy in exchange to know everything? It has a couple questions like that, ultimately you know, the message, I think. And there's some good cinematography and the performances are fine. I think they could have been a lot better, but these characters were given, or sorry, the actors weren't given much to work with, so, and Bill Paxton is in the movie, rest in peace, and, uh, I think that's it. Negative time! Woo! Uh, where do I start? Uh, let's get into the script. It's a mess, and I don't know what's happening, things just seem to happen, there's no protagonist, antagonist, anything like that. Uh, things just happen, and there are just, uh, what's the word, presentations. There's like five of them that move the plot along. Emma Watson's character, I believe her, her character's name is May. She goes kayaking at night, and she could have almost died had a camera uh, not have seen her be, had not seen her do that, she would have been fine. And so she decides to be, to have a camera with her 24-7, outside of her using the bathroom, taking a shower, etc. And that's just one negative. Uh, the characters are bland. There's, they don't really have anything for them as characters. And uh, the dialogue was the weakest point of the movie, I think, if you ask me. And I thought that that was a huge missed opportunity. Uh, the dialogue have, would have been really interesting. And I uh, can see, like, well, the dialogue didn't need to be improved because it progressed the plot along. But I can see that. Doesn't mean I have to like the movie. And this is me not liking it. And a great example of a movie that doesn't, that's somewhat similar to this movie. It's not so much about this premise, but it's somewhat similar. And that is The Founder, starring Michael Keaton. If you have not seen that movie, go check out my review. I thought it was great. I think you should watch it. It's one of the best movies I've seen this year. And it had fantastic dialogue 
that drove the movie forward and you're engaged in it a lot because you're interested in what's going to happen next. Here, I was, I was almost falling asleep, I have to be honest, but not because I was tired and the movie was just boring. I'm sorry. The writing, I, I discussed this, I think. Well, writing, let's just get into it. It's all over the place. I, what else can I say? Nothing really makes sense. And there are certain scenes that mean something. But I think that the script is just trying to make a message that counts over a movie that makes sense. And you end up with a mess. I'm sorry, I keep saying that this movie is a mess, but what else can I say? <laughs> the pacing, holy crap. It was so boring. It, the movie feels like it's three and a half, four and a half, four hours long. I don't, I, what else can I say? It's an hour and 50 minutes. Four hours is how it feels. The score sounds the same throughout the entire movie. I have nothing to say about it. I, it was kind of putting me to sleep. It kind of annoyed me. And it just felt that this movie had nothing to offer from a filmmaking perspective. And therefore, I don't really get much out of it. Overall, I'm just going to stop here because if I continue talking, it's going to take about an hour to into all my negatives, but this movie's boring, has a bad script, bad writing, mediocre acting at best, pointless subplots, and don't even get me started on the pacing or what it wants to be, because it just goes in whichever direction it wants without realizing that it's not really about that. It's about making a good movie. I am this close for, of giving the circle an F. But there are a couple things I like. Therefore, I'm going to give the circle a D-. minus. Thank you as always for watching. Please don't see the circle. Whatever you do, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry this uh, review is up very late. <laughs> Sorry. And another thing is, I'm not really very energetic because this movie's really bad, it's boring, it didn't really give me much. So I hope you have a good day, and you're enjoying my videos, and uh, be sure to like this video, comment to tell me what you thought down below. There. there uh, look in the description because there will be a link to my Twitter page, even though I haven't really been using it. I think you should definitely check it out, just in case I post up. You want to see what I do there? It's it's basically what I use in my free time. And one last thing: subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. And uh, I think it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Woo! That looks like fun. Thank you for watching and have a great day.